All right, we're back on the set of Bigfoot Wars, and the doctor is in, the good Judd Nelson. How are you? Very good, thank you. Well, and uh, and we, we disturbed your slumber, and, and now we've got to ask you a few questions about sure. the set. It's it's great to have you here. I, I, I'm taking it if you've never been to Mineola, Texas before. I've never been to Mineola, no. And it's, uh, it's a little bit toasty here today, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's about, <laughs> I think, 95 degrees. But we're fortunate because we're inside here, and it's air-conditioned, it's very nice. Yeah, absolutely. So what was it about this, uh, this film that, that drew you to it? Because it's, it's pretty unique. It's very unique. Um, got a very interesting story. Also, a friend of mine, C. Thomas Howell, was doing it. And he said, come on, this will be fun, go do it. So I was like, okay, pretty simple. And tell us about your role. You, you were a pill or, or a prescription? Well, I may be a bit of a drug addict uh, <laughs> doctor. A guy who uh, believes in the notion, uh, physician, heal thyself. So as I deal with these um, gruesome injuries as a result of these bear attacks, I self-medicate. Yeah. yeah. And have you seen Bigfoot himself yet? Well, I've seen photographs okay. of Bigfoot. It looks really cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And and without giving too much away, uh, I, I know they're already talking about a sequel. Or, or were we maybe going to see you in it? Or I have no idea. It's so funny. It's uh, too early to talk about a sequel. You know, yeah. we have to finish this one first. But um, uh, it seems at the end of this one, I'm alive. So that definitely leaves the opportunity for a sequel. Yeah. You know, for my character. Can write some more prescriptions. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, good. And I uh, and also tell tell us about what else you're uh, working on right now. Well, I've just been doing a couple episodes of the TV show Nikita. Mm -hmm. So I came here from Toronto, and then as soon as I finish, I go back up there. Oh wow! I do another one. So you know, if I'm busy, I'm in less trouble. Yeah. <laughs> no rest for you, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Well, uh, you know, I know some of the people on the set were talking about some of their. Uh, favorite films, which uh, include you in it, and I know that Brian, in particular, wants to uh, has a few uh, questions about from the hip. But well, what 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 are the what are the films that, that, that people most often ask you about? People ask about um, Breakfast Club a lot. They ask about New Jack City a lot, and every so often people ask about Transformers, yeah, the animated movie, and I Absolutely. play the voice of Hot Rod, so that always makes me laugh when people go like, "Yeah, Hot Rod," cracks me up. Oh, that's great. Well, and, and, and you were a part of such a very, very special time in film to, to a lot of us, you know? And so, so you, you must have some really fond memories of those sets. Yeah, I mean, I think that career is more a retrospective term, like let's look back over the career of Spencer Tracy. So I don't really uh, see any isolated moments in that career as being more special than any other. It's just a, I'm glad to be able to do what I would do for free and get paid for it. No, that's the good gig. Absolutely. Well, what kind of advice would you give to some actors that are looking to get in the business? Because it's a hard one. Yeah, it's really kind of like the, the um, seller's market, right? Yeah. So a lot of people competing for, you know, not that many jobs. I guess the advice I would offer would be commit to it completely. It's not something you can really do half-ass. Yeah. And so if you are fully committed to it, if you feel you are prepared, and that would be something else. Also, make sure that you are legitimately confident because you don't want to get an opportunity and then have doubts and oh, oh and worry and then mess it up. So Yeah, absolutely. Well, this has been a very different interview. Uh, we, we're sitting here in a set. I'm in a wheelchair. Well, because he's, uh, he's obviously injured. Yes, I'm very <laughs> injured right now. <laughs> and on top of that, you're, you're in, in full uh, costume. And uh, C. Thomas Howell, when he was with us, he actually did the interview in character. So, uh, so really? it's very different. So, so you interviewed Zeke Jesterton. I did Z interview Zeke. I'm I think surprised I, he'd allow that. I know. Well, I think we lost Tommy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so if we were talking to the good doctor, what would the good doctor say? Um, time for a prescription. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds great. So thank you so much for being with it's us. A pleasure, man. All right, thank great, you. great, Chad Nelson.